The Toyota Land Cruiser has a reputation for being one of the world's most solid and reliable off-road vehicles. This mod brings it to BeamNG. We're going to put it to the test in some extreme weather because we're driving around a winterized version of Johnson Valley. Now this is the J80 version of the Land Cruiser. Toyota has built Land Cruisers for over 70 years and this was the Land Cruiser for the 90s. It combines a bit of luxury with that off-road capability. So this mod is really, really awesome. I'll leave links to both the map and the car in the description below. If we open the bonnet, you can see we've got the, what's it called, the 1FZ F engine, which is a straight six. It looks pretty nice. Let's rev it up. Very nice. Straight six power. And it's a very reliable engine. Now we can open the boot or the tailgate. Looks pretty big in there. You can store a lot of stuff. And then on the interior, there is an ignition button I couldn't get to work, but the lights do turn on in here, which is quite nice. I like that. And yeah, the interior in here is quite nice. It's somewhere between luxury and kind of utility. It's quite nice. And then we've got a compass and an altimeter, which is great. So let's drive this thing around and see what it's like. Here we go. Four wheel drive, of course. We've got a transfer case, I think. And we can do like high range and low range gears. Oh yeah. How is it? Well, it's very floaty feeling and the, well, the steering is actually quite light. Very light. Whoa, or that might be because of the winter map. So this map is minus 17 degrees Celsius, which is pretty, <laughs> pretty uh, cold. And this thing is actually dealing with it quite well. Whoa! I mean, it's my G27 steering wheel. Oh, but it's not helping much. We're slipping around. Whoa! Now we're going to try and take this thing off-road, but this is the base variant that was imported into the Middle East. So maybe we shouldn't take this out there. We're just going to try it on the road. Here we go. Onto the road. Boom. Oh, go. Power. I mean, it's not amazingly powerful, but it's okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I love the look of that. Have we got a moving, yeah, moving shift and a really nice shift animation. Look at that. That's great. So nice animations. The interior is very high quality. Look, again, we can look at all the different logic control deck, Dolby. We can look at everything in really high detail. It's very crisp. Yeah. Let's stop at the gas station. Okay, here we go. So these things are really, really dependable. People use them for off-road expeditions. They've kind of taken over from old Land Rover Defenders, I guess, as a kind of go-to vehicle for off-road explorers. Whoa, awesome. So these are the variants. We were just in the GX. We're gonna go for the GXR. We've got most of the features, but not all of them. Hmm, what does that mean? Oh, <laughs> it means a crunchy gearbox, uh-oh. Okay, we've got a, ooh, a bigger steering wheel. We haven't got leather seats. What about the engine? Is it the same? Oh, custom, yeah, custom starter sound, which is nice. Sounds like the same engine, though. Um, GXR, interesting. 24 valve, okay. Whoa, look, we've got rear seats there. So you can fold these seats down and then use them in the back. That's really nice. Okay, take it onto the road. So this is in actually the low range right now, or H2. You have to put it into H4. Ah, H2, no, I'm wrong. H2, two wheel drive, H4, four wheel drive. So let's try it two wheel. Oh, we're slipping. That is very slippy. Oh, and the suspension is very soft. Let's put it into four wheel drive mode. There we go. What do the lights look like? Very bright, huge indicators on there. Have you ever seen an indicator that big? It's craziness. It's a pretty big steering wheel, a very chunky center bit. Um, okay, let's go for a crash test. And people tell me, you know, don't do a crash test too fast because that kind of ruins it. So let's do about a 60 mile per hour crash test. Here we go. Into that pole just there. Slow motion, here we go. What's it gonna be like? Oh, the engine fell out. Oh! Uh, okay, that does happen sometimes, unfortunately. Uh, let's try that again. So the game couldn't really handle the crash there, so maybe let's try and crash into that there. Here we go. This isn't going to be very fast, but... Oh! Look at that! So yeah, not the best J-Beam ever, but it's okay. The engine did actually break from that, but uh, still quite a good crash model. Wow, look at how white this map is. <laughs> it's like you've fallen into some flower. Okay, uh, let's go to remote pits. 
and try out one of the actual off-road variants. So this one is called the Dune Basher. Now we do technically still have dunes, but they're covered in sand. So what's that gonna be like? Oh no, the tires have fallen off. Okay, if this happens, what you need to do is go Control W and then go to front suspension, front wheel hubs, front wheels, and put tires on. So I'm going for the heavy duty 265s. Um, I'm sure that this will be fixed. So if the developer of the mod is watching this, there is a problem with the tyres. Here we go, off-road. We've got a Garmin sat-nav. Oh, it's slippy. Come on, four-wheel drive. Go, go, go. So you have to remember every single time to turn four-wheel drive on, which is a bit weird. Here we go. Over the dunes. How is it? Oh, yes. Feels pretty good. Do some jumps. The suspension seems to be handling it quite well so far. Here's a jump. Yep, good. Big bounce. Oh, that's awesome. Look at this thing go. A huge aerial, floppy aerial on the back. It kind of looks like a Lada, one of those Lada Reavers at the back here. It's a very simplistic design at the back. But um, they also have this kind of gold Toyota logo, which I, oh, which I always thought was uh, custom, but I think they actually did sell them in some markets with the vehicles. And then a sort of weird version of the three-pointed Mercedes star. Um, the Toyota Badger's on the bonnet, we're rolling it. Oh no. Oh, damn. There you go. But it is handling it well. The suspension is totally fine, despite the fact we have, you know, crashed in some dunes. Oh yeah, huge wing mirrors, as most of these SUVs have. Yeah, love it. Feels great off-road. There's also this one which is heavily modified for off-road trips. So it's pretty much similar to the same one we just had, but even more modified. We do have tyres this time, which is good. And an automatic gearbox. Okay, let's put the front differentials to lock. And we'll go in low, low range mode. Here we go. Um, okay, here we go. I used to watch a programme, in fact I think they brought it back recently, called World's, World's Most Dangerous Roads. I think I've talked about it before. They always drove a Land Cruiser or the Lexuses that are based on the Land Cruiser. And like of this generation too, because they, they did places like, you know, Chile, um, Brazil, places where, whoa, these are just such reliable and notorious off-road vehicles. Whoa. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Yeah, it is pretty good. Some vehicles really do struggle to get up here, but this is actually beasting it. Okay, let's go back a bit. Better than the Procyon Centauri, that's for sure. Is it as good as the Land Rover Defender? Not sure. We, maybe we should do a comparison video. Oh, oh, it doesn't like that. Okay, um, let's go high then. Doesn't like it. That's really weird. Maybe we need some speed. Here we go. So would you like to see me do like a comparison video between this, the Defender, the Gavril Roma, and the Procyon Centauri? I think that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Come on. Oh, not quite. Oh, that's really disappointing. Come on. It wants to, but it's not going to, is it? Oh, okay, here we go. We've cheated a bit further ahead. There's lots of rocks up here. Is the ground clearance quite good? I think it is. It's also got a protector at the front so we don't damage our vehicle on anything. Stop! It's this, it's this ice and snow. It's making it very difficult to get up here. Here we go. In the normal map, I have no doubt that this would be just a beast, but I wanted to put it for its paces, you know? Yes! We're kind of at the top. It's a pretty good off-road vehicle. Yeah, I do like it a lot. Oh, and it's got a snorkel. That's useful, and a spare tire and another aerial. Okay, let's drive the VXR. This is the top of the line model, and not a Voxel Monaro, as you might be thinking, which is also called a VXR. There you go, it's pretty nice looking. We've got leather seats inside? Yes, we do. This is really plush. Oh, they're half leather and half fabric. Oh, that's really nice, I like it. Actually, it might be all leather. And they're like vented, vented seats? Hmm, interesting. Hmm, it feels like quite a sedate, driving experience on the road and I love the gold Toyota badge I wish all Toyotas had this kind of oh and even the grill is gold that's amazing look at that oh we're off the road let's see what the top speed of this thing is well it's not the fastest car in the world but about 110 120 I reckon it feels pretty good brake test whoa the body roll look at that 
Look how much we can make the body move. That's craziness. Yeah. Love it. Feels great. And look at the carpets. Look how detailed those carpets are. That's really nice. Let's try sport variant because there are a couple. Uh, so, the first one I want to check out is the Sport Super. How much power does it have? Well, don't know, but it looks like it's got slightly different wheels, maybe some slightly different suspension. Oh, it's got a supercharger. It has a supercharger. Here we go. Uh, we want four-wheel drive, definitely. So, supercharged, how does it go? Well, it revs much higher, which is strange. They've changed how much it revs, but it's a, you know, a very reliable, I guess, tunable engine. Just a straight six. Whoa, and it's going pretty fast. These things weren't built for speed, but this thing flies. Almost, quite literally. Here we go. How many gears? Five gears. See what speed we can get to before the end of the road. Well, this is a pretty tense drive. We're coming up to the crest of the hill here. We were doing about 160 at one point, but oh, we're slowing down a bit. Now, here we go. We must be burning through the fuel during this speed. Uh-oh. Come on, get control, get control. Wow, this road is longer than I thought. Uh-oh. I'm trying to control it. There you go, regain control. Easy. No, we're all over the place. Oh, that was a big... The steering's all weird. Oh! Wow, not as big as a crash as I thought it would be. But five gears, about 160 to 170 top speed. It's pretty quick. And this is the drift missile. Its only purpose is drifting. It doesn't sound very healthy though, listen to that. Why is it like idling kind of rough? And also we're missing a headlight on the right, which I think is pretty funny. The Al Aba 66 racing team. Illegal mods, oh my goodness. That's, are we even gonna be able to control it in this weather? I don't think we are, let's have a go. No, way too slippy, here we go. Second gear, just slow drift, yes. No, don't let it spin, oh, this is really difficult. No, I can't do it. Oh, that is so difficult. I'm sure you'd be better than me and you know, the winter isn't helping, but oh, go, 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 go. You can barely get this thing up to speed before it starts drifting. Look at it, it's going. Okay, here we go, no. Oh dear, I'm not a drift king. Oh dear, definitely not. And the final variant, I think, is the coolest. So apparently in the Jurassic Park novel, they used Toyota Land Cruisers, the J80. Now this was actually, I think, electric, but if you listen, that's definitely got an engine, hasn't it? That's funny. So on the interior, what's it like? We've got a Garmin sat-nav, a radio. It looks pretty nice. We've got these kind of grab handles. So you can, I guess, well, it's meant to be a tour vehicle, isn't it? So you'd get inside and be driven around the park, probably by a robot, not an actual human driver. I don't know how different the Jurassic Park novel was to the movie, but in the movie, I think they used Mercedes, did they? Pretty sure they did. Anyway, really, really cool vehicle and a great livery, livery very high quality. I think someone on the forum actually requested this and they put it into the game, which is great. So, that was the Toyota Land Cruiser J80 mod for BeamNG. Go and check it out from the link in the description. Go and support the mods developer, and obviously go and check out this map, the winterized version of Johnson Valley. I want to do another video looking at this vehicle and all the other SUVs I've had a look at in the past. I think it'd be a great to do a comparison video. Let me know what you think about that. And if you want to see my review of the Procyon Centauri, click the video on screen right now. I think you'll enjoy that. Thank you very much for watching. That's all from me for now, and I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures.